right, folks. Uh, for those of you who are interested and in ask questions about how I installed the video converter card in an old uh, Capcom bowling game and connected it to a modern LCD, here's a quick little video on how I did that. Um, here's the uh, video card. It's just an arcade, um, you know, output to VGA card. You can actually use this to, you know, um, you know, connect to a lot of things actually, but the connectors that we're interested in is um, the little power supply one. Um, you'll connect that to the 5 volt out on your uh, um, arcade power supply. Plugs in there, and then you will have this connector, which uh, plugs in right behind here, and um, the other end of it will actually connect to this the wires coming out of the arcade cabinet all right and um, in the final product your VGA monitor will plug in to this not this one that's for like an EJ, EGA in um, but this is the out that goes to your monitor all right now this next shot kinda shows you how the wiring goes on the board you can see in the top right there the red and black um, power cord and I have spliced that into the positive and negative of the uh, 5 volt terminals of the power supply and then for the uh, signal you can see that I have plugged in the harness with the different color wires and connected it here and it's black to black red to red blue to blue green to green and then from the old card there is a beige or a white wire this guy right here that goes to this gray wire and then you do not use this yellow wire that comes out of this I don't know why you don't use it but you just don't and then of course your VGA monitor plugs into that all right so the next step would be to power up the arcade game ignore that monitor that's in there plugged it in you can see the card comes on it's got the little light there it'll blink and the picture will come up on the monitor of course I've learned the hard way that it's much easier to fire these things up you know when they're outside of the machine so definitely don't install it in the cabinet first that way you know, if you need to um, Mickey Mouse with anything, you've got the monitor in front of you and you can see it. Um, and this particular card came up right away. As, as you can see, you know, it's displaying. I've got to adjust it a little bit, but for the most part, it looks really good. You know, if you plug your video card in and you fire everything up and you notice the screen um, is jumping around, one of the things I would suggest doing right away is hitting this button right here it's the auto button um, and it kind of jumps in there and uh, you know just things I'm gonna go ahead and hit it anyway to see what happens and not much really um, it's actually looking pretty good so there you have it folks um, you know not too hard hold on just a second and I'll switch over and show you what it looks like in the cabinet Alright folks, I actually uh, changed my mind. The next thing I'd like to do is show you how to operate the menus. Um, you know, you notice I've already been in there and adjusted the picture so that it kind of covers the screen here. But how you do that, um, you come down here to this button on the right, you push that, and when you do that, a little menu comes up. And it's in Chinese, but I've learned that English is uh, number four, so you just scroll up you know, or down to that and hit the far right button that kind of acts as the enter and then you can scroll up to English and there you have it um, and then you can adjust this you know like you do a lot of other things and I've actually already been in to this screen and I had to turn up the uh, brightness to 90 because I do have some tinted glass on uh, my game and of course if you don't press anything for a moment it kind of goes away but kind of come back Go to the geometry. Um, before I show you that, let's let's go in here 
to the display um, on these games you know they kind of had the 19 inch screen um, I've noticed that 800 by 600 works the best um, you know so go with that there and then under uh, geometry these are kind of the settings you want to go for you know I did not do anything to the clamp settings at all it's 90 95 but I did change especially these things the horizontal and vertical size and the horizontal and vertical position to get it to fit on the screen and this is kind of what you know what you come up with so then you just exit out or it will do it on its own and I'll show you what it looks like in the game all right and there you can see the monitor or one very much like I showed you there a moment ago installed in the game this is what it kind of looks like um, again I've got tinted glass on this game for some reason that's just what it came with so I'll have to mess with the brightness a little bit but it looks pretty good all right and hold on a minute and I'll show you how I installed the electronics in the back of the all right folks as promised here's how everything looks installed in the cabinet you can see the card there it's plugged in got the uh, positive and negative down there to the uh, 5 volt terminals on the uh, power supply I got the uh, you know the monitor inputs coming into there I tied everything up over here nice and neat get happy with your zip ties do as well as you can the monitor itself is now up here you can kind of see I had to get sort of creative with <laughs> wood and all that kind of fun stuff I think it looks relatively neat holds it solid top to bottom left and right and in case you're wondering how I did the power for the monitor you know it's just the regular plug for the monitor ran the wiring around and then I snipped off the plug you know and inside you will find the black white and green wire and you just plug them into the appropriate terminals on the uh, power supply and on the arcade cabinet it also has a black white and green so just